Now we are going to cover the most frequently used transaction codes for VIM reporting. Again, uh, as we said before, the VIM has a has a namespace starting with slash o. So again, we don't expect anyone to learn this transaction code by heart. That's why we have given all this transaction code and also we will provide a favorite folder that you can just download to your SAP system and you can use it accordingly. So the first one is the open text VN liability report. So it, it takes into account all the liability that you are liable to pay so anything related with the cruels that you need to pay now the the second one is the vim aging report the vim aging report takes care of all the all the vendors all the invoices that has been aging in our system so lots of times what happens is there is a troubled vendor which always gives us wrong wrong information related with vendors wrong, wrong information with invoices so those things that that are old invoices that you cannot pay so you can keep track of what is the aging of those of those invoices now the vim analytics this is a very this is the most important report that vendor invoice man and vendor invoice management has this is used for this you can use this report to do all types of queries like starting with okay you have a reference number and you want to see whether this invoice has been paid or not or you have a purchase order number and you want to see whether there is any invoice that is pending in that or you have you have a plant and you want to see all the all the pending invoices all the posted invoices anything related with history or if you don't know anything, you know the amount. You can search with the amount. So this is like the uh, this is like the go-to transaction code code for every invoice payment history query, and also it takes into account in process invoices. Now the fourth one is the audit audit report. So it's just an audit report which tells who, who did what and all those things. This is very much useful for for the year end or audit for internal audit and when you have uh, other external companies trying to do the audit for your uh, invoice for, for your vendor invoices now the the next one is the wing exception analysis report so this covers all the what is the aging for each exception so there are a, an exception can be uh, uh, an example can be a needs goods receipt when an invoice comes which is a PO invoice and it's a three-way match and you want to pay and you need a goods receipt to to post this invoice so needs goods receipt is an exception now the fame key process analytics takes care of the normal analytics that you can use for your uh, top management for kpis the license report takes care of situations where where uh, the number of invoices that are coming through edi uh, or icc or others other channels so that you can see how you can improve suppose you have an edi you have a fame vendor invoice management edi implemented and you want to increase then you can start looking at the stats the next one is the vim productivity report this is very much used for in order to find the productivity of each ap personnel you know uh, statistics is very important to drive a company and always if you have good stats then you can drive the employee to exceed their uh, exceed their uh, uh, their willingness to work and exceed their expectation of working okay the summary report tells you what are the different type of exceptions what is which which is where it is stuck so that you can uh, start looking at those exceptions and try to find the pain area the vim workplace is like a sap inbox uh, I will say it's not an SAP inbox, it's like an SAP inbox with steroids because you can get lots of other features like mass approving, bulk approval, mass change, and all those things, which is really helpful. And you can add more dynamic columns and it's heavily customizable or enhanceable. And the last part, 
which is very important is SWU3. This is a transaction code that is delivered in standard SAP. We have to understand about open text vendor invoice management that it works only with workflows. So all the reporting is done with, based on workflow instances. So if you need, you, if you want uh, SAP open text vendor invoice management to work properly, SWU3 needs to be configured properly. So that covers all the frequently used transaction codes for VIM reporting.